Okay, this is 4.4 relating area units. Let's do some try these. 75 centimeters equals how many meters? So we're going from a smaller unit to a larger, which means that we're going to um, have uh, a smaller number for our meters than centimeters. And we know that from our conversion ratios that it takes 100 centimeters to make one meter. So our decimal point is here. So when we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we're going to move the decimal point to the left two spaces, which represents um, one hundredth place in the decimal. Put the decimal point there. So 75 centimeters is equal to 0 0.75 meters. Number two, we're going from two kilometers to how many meters? We're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, which means there's going to be more meters than there are kilometers. We know that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer, so two kilometers. The decimal point is there. We're going to move it three places, which is 1,000. Three places to the right, one, two, three, which means we're going to have 2,000 meters is the same as two kilometers. Number three, six feet is equal to how many yards? Well, we know that there are three feet to a yard. So we take six, we divide it by three. We do six divided by three, and that's just equal to two. So we can say six feet is the same as two yards. Two feet is how many inches? Well, we know that there's 12 inches per foot. We have two feet. So we can just take two times 12 equals 24. And so two feet is the same as 24 inches. OK, so that's just some more. All right, Evelyn made a model of a square meter using a centimeter grid paper. How many grid squares are there in the model? So what are the dimensions? Well, dimensions are one meter. We know that from our conversion chart, from your formula sheet, one meter is the same as 100 centimeters, because it takes 100 centimeters to make one meter. One meter squared is one meter times one meter, or 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters. So what is one meter squared in square centimeters? Well, we just multiply 100 times 100, which is a one with one, two, three, four zeros after. One, two, three, four, which is 10,000. So one meter squared is 10,000 centimeters squared, which means she's going to have on her grid paper 10,000 little squares. Example number one. Before we do example number one, let's just look to the hint on the left-hand column here. In the metric system, land is often measured in hectares using the symbol HA. One hectare is the same area as one square hectometer. One hectometer is one hectometer squared. And one hectometer, this is the important thing, is 100 meters. One hectometer is 100 meters. Okay, so taking that information, let's do example number one. Dillon's field is 390,000 meters squared in area. What is the area in hectares? Okay, well, solution. What is the relationship? Well, one meter is equal to, well, we know it's a 100 to 1. So one meter is equal to 0 0.01 hectometers. Okay? One meter squared is one meter times one meter, or 0 0.01 hectometers times 0 0.01 hectometers. Okay. We multiply those two numbers together. That will give us an area. So let's turn our calculator on. And let's do 0 0.01 times 0 0.01, which equals whoops, 0 0.01 times 0 0.01 equals, and I've got for some reason a funny area. I don't know why. 0 0.01 times 0 0.01 equals. Oh, one exponent to the name. Okay, so it's in scientific notation. That's not an error message. That's not calculator in scientific notation. Okay, so what that is is that is zero point, and then you saw the number four on here. It's, that means it's going four places. So that means I've got 0, 0, 0, 1. OK, that 1 is in the fourth spot. And you can see there's the answer down here. OK, so 1 meter squared is 0 0.0001 hectometer squared. So 390,000 meters squared times 0 0.0001 
hectometer squared per meter squared is equal to, so we'll just take our calculator. Let's clear that, and let's move it over here so we can see it. And we have 390,000 times 0 0.0001 equals 39. So we have 39 hectometers squared, and we know that from over here, one hectometer squared is one hectare, so 39 hectometers squared is the same as 39 hectares. Okay? Example number two. Philip calculated the area of his driveway as 600 square feet, so now we're going to be talking about uh, imperial measurements. How much will asphalt paving cost if the price is $12.25 per square yard? So the first thing we need to do, since the pricing is in square yards, we have to convert 600 square feet to square yards. How do we do that? Well, how many square feet are in one square yard? That's eight. Well, one square yard is one yard times one yard, or, and we know that one yard is three feet times three feet. Three times three is nine. So one yard is nine square feet. B, what is 600 square feet expressed in square yards? Well, 600 square feet divided by nine square feet per yard. Okay, so we take our calculator and we take 600. We divide that by nine and we get an answer of 66.66 repeated. Okay, so 66 point, let's just round it to six, seven square yards. What is the cost of paving? Well, the cost of paving is $12.25. Oh, let's actually, you're asking for the actual square yards. We have 66.67 square yards at $12.25 per square yard. So we just punch in those numbers, 66.67 square yards, multiply that by $12.25 which means it's going to cost $816.71. $816.71 to pave that particular drive. Okay? So, not too hard to do. You just have to know your conversion factors. You have to, if you need to, you go back and you review it. Uh, you can go to your um, formula sheet or the back of the book, which will give you the conversion ratios and then go and do the practice, okay? Mm -hmm.